is how different it is compared to the rest of Italy. One of the most insta-worsty places as well. So they tried to paint as many houses as possible here with white lime paint. Come with me and I'll show you. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to Ostuni, the white city of the Puglia coast. A wonderful, lovely city that we are going to explore today as we are continuing our trip uh, along Puglia region. I'm so excited to take you here with me. I'm so excited to show this city to you and also to discover it for myself. So if you're ready, we can begin. But before that, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button so you don't miss all other travel vlogs from here. And now guys, let's go with me. Ostuni is known as the white city and not by chance. Most of the houses in the city center are painted white and it is a stunning view that you should never miss when visiting Puglia because this is so, so special and particular. And there's actually a very precise reason behind all these white houses. When during the Middle Ages, the epidemics of plague were incredibly common across all the cities in Europe, Ostuni was no different. And the people actually found that white lime paint was uh, an antiseptic and so they tried to paint as many houses as possible here with white lime paint in order to fight the plague and ever since all these houses remained white and Ostuni gained its fame as the white city of Puglia. There is a beautiful legend tracing the origin of Astuni to the Trojan times. Because according to the legend, one of the commanders of Troja actually founded this city. His name was Ternal and apparently Ostuni comes from his name. However, it is actually much more probable that the city got its name as the new city, as it translates from the Greek. So obviously there might be a more real reason behind it but i also love a good legend and probably know it guys i found a beautiful panoramic view from here so come with me and i'll show you guys even though stone is not located directly on the sea you can still see the sea from here and the panorama is absolutely spectacular Here, guys, you can see one of the most famous spots in Ostuni, and it is obviously not a historical one, but this is known as the Blue Door, which is painted in the colors of the sea, apparently, and it's one of the most uh, photographed place here in this town, one of the most insta worsty places as well. And I'll tell you a secret, you can actually stay here because it's an Airbnb and you can rent it and stay in this super famous place with a beautiful view over the sea. Guys, tell me in the comments when you are traveling and you're, you know, exploring different places, do you prefer to stay in one place and then explore from there? Or do you prefer to change your accommodation every few nights or something like that and staying wherever you are exploring? I'm really curious because for my team and I, it's actually quite tricky sometimes to change accommodation frequently as we have equipment and it just makes more sense for us to stay in one place and then making trips, daily trips to different shooting locations and to explore all of the different areas around. And since you are asking me all the time about accommodation advice, I actually wanted to share the place where we are staying with you this villa behind my back that is hosting us now during our Puglia trip is absolutely gorgeous it's a small little villa in the typical southern italian style and with an incredible southern italian charm it's called casa vacanza pauline and it is a wonderful place if you want to stay in one place while being in proximity to all of the points of interest just think of it it is located near 20 minutes drive from Ostuni or Alberobello, Monopoly and all these wonderful towns and villages in this area. 
it is so convenient to explore from here, especially if you are driving. And then you can come back and find all this serenity here and enjoy a glass of wine in the garden and your dinner and, you know, just relax in the nature. If you guys love nature as much as I do, this place would be absolutely perfect for you as it is surrounded by olive trees and many plants, herbs and flowers. The smells here are incredible and also it is located on top of the hill, so it both fantastic panoramas of the valley beneath and pictures, sunsets and it's so good to come here in the evening after a full day of exploration or shooting in our case and to just, you know, unwind and relax here. Not only it's beautiful, but it is also super comfortable as it comes fully equipped with whatever you might possibly need, including a fully equipped kitchen. So I highly, highly recommend you this place. Check the link in the description box and yes, book your next vacation in Puglia. What never ceases to amaze me here in Puglia is how different it is compared to the rest of Italy. The architecture here is absolutely different and it's so special and unique. And honestly, after you've lived here for so long and traveled a lot, I didn't expect anything else to surprise me that much, but I'm so surprised and I love it so much. And if you want a different Italy, this place is for you. Guys, if you want to learn even more tips about traveling to Italy and to Puglia in particular, I remind you that I have a Patreon page where I post weekly tips and itineraries, deals and all of the things that you might need to know when planning your trip to Italy. So check the link in the description box, subscribe and I'll be so happy to see you there! Estonia really gives you this walkable vibe where you can just walk around and explore the city and explore all the narrow streets that you can find on every corner and also of course make a stop at a cafe there are numerous cafes here so you can stop there to have a little break from your discoveries while having a cup of coffee or something else with sometimes actually with a very good view Guys, Astuni is absolutely picture perfect. And I also love that there are so many plants and flowers because you know, on this white background, all of these colors look absolutely amazing. And by the way, if you want to see more pictures uh, that we took here in Astuni, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I will leave you a link in the description and also here as well. So come follow me, come say hi, come join me for all the backstage footage and more photos from the places that we visit and also to stay updated on all our trail plans. Guys, look at this gorgeous view that we found just a few steps away from the city center actually because you obviously cannot have this panoramic view of the city although you have a few panoramic viewpoints from the city but over the sea. If you want on the other hand, to see the city of Estonia from distance and to enjoy this white hill, basically the hill made up of white houses, I will leave you a link in the description box to this place where you can have aperitivo and enjoy the view. That's it guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video from Astuni. I remind you to subscribe and hit the bell button if you don't want to miss anything new because there are more travel vlogs from Puglia coming your way. And as always, please don't forget to like, comment and share this video with your friends so I can make even more videos like this for you. And yes, I hope that you will get to come here and enjoy this wonderful region for yourselves. Thank you so much for being here and please enjoy your day.